Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wonky, and I'm back with another Fake Grand Order video. What am I talking about today? Well, still going down the list of all the units that are in the 20 million pickup summons. And today, I figured that uh, after talking with it with my brother and saying, shouldn't it just be better if I just put these two together rather than do one <laughs> and then the video is over? I decided to just combine the two units that are going to be coming up. Which is going to be Yang, which is going to be here on the 28th, and Shudin, who's going to be here on the 29th. So on Sunday, that's when Yang shows up. And then on Monday is when uh, Shudin will be here. So those are the two units. So let's go right into it. Uh, start with Yang. Yang is a foreigner. Um, she has two quicks, two arts, one buster. Four hits on the quick, four hits on the arts, three hits on the buster. Four hits on the extra. Her first skill, which is a, eventually gets a strength in, which I believe is uh, already in the game. So this has already been buffed. I should know this because I have uh, Yang. Uh, embodiment of the 3,000 Affections A+. Grant self invincibility for one turn. Charges on MP gauge by 10% every turn for three turns. Gain crit stars. 500% chance to draw attention to all enemies except to self by 300% for one turn. And then gain 25 stars on a cooldown of 6, if you want to know what this used to be. Um, it was this, but just worse. Uh, you got let, like 10 less stars, and it, it only drew the attention of males. <laughs> so it was a, a much worse version of the skill. Her second skill, 1's favorite concubine, A. Absorb all enemies' NP gauge by 1. The amount of NP charge is multiplied by the number of enemy gauges drained. And then reduce their defense for 3 turns. So you get 20% if there's 1, 40% if there's 2... 60% if there are three. Um, and then the defense is 20% down on them on the cooldown of seven. Her school, her third skill is the Son of the Calamitous Star A. Grants self the Living Flame buff for three attacks, three turns. Living Flame inflicts defensive down by 10% for three turns when enemy uh, when uh, to enemy when taking attack. Inflicts burn for three turns to enemies when taking attack. Increases his own defense for three turns. The burn damage is a thousand and the defense down is 20% on a cooldown of six. Her passive skills are existence outside of the domain EX and divinity B. Uh, her third skill is a um, increase own attack against rulers. And her rank B plus noble phantasm is the uh, Gaisho Hayakurane, or the Melody of Eternal Love, anti-unit, anti-country, B plus arts, a noble phantasm, hits four times, deals damage to one enemy, and then inflicts burns to them. Um, the MP damage at level one is 900%, and then burn damage is 3,000, and if you get her all the way to MP5, it's 1,500 damage, and burn damage is 6,000. And then deals extra damage to all enemies. Uh, uh, deals extra damage to enemies with the burn status inflicted on them, 150% at charge level one. And if you get it all the way to the final charge level, it's 200%. A good thing to know here is that I believe this applies after, so that means that um, or these happen at the same time. So it means that she'll deal, she'll deal she deals damage and then they get inflicted with burn. So you don't get to activate this when you use the Noble Phantasm. At least I assume that's the way it is. Because usually with these kind of statuses, they will tell you if this inflicts first. Which is why she uses her third skill to actually get them uh, on fire and stuff. And yeah, that's Yang. Um, Yang is a very interesting unit. I like I like her. I think the last time I talked about her, um, I ended up starting a tiny conversation with people in the comments who are like saying like i feel like you're being a little bit too harsh on yang i'm like it really because every time i tried to use yang it came out bad she never dealt enough damage nothing she did was ever very effective um and they said i can understand it can be a little bit frustrating but i think what you need to do is go in there give her another chance and then get her skills to the max capacity because there's a huge difference when um this ability is at six versus eight and i did that and I agree that she is much better than I was originally uh, counting for her. So I think she's a really good unit. Um, really solid. Even if this is at level 1. Like, you definitely want this at level 10. But it does look like it's 100% no matter what. She always uh, um, drains the NP gauge as long as they have NP gauge to drain. Which is really nice. Another the nice thing is that she has existence outside of the domain. And when you have existence outside of the domain. The domain? Outside of the domain, it means that you can be used with Van Gogh. And Van Gogh is really, really good 
at buffing anyone in terms of crit damage with existence outside of the domain because she increases it by 100% for three turns and then gains a bunch of crit stars. And she's also even arts. She can be used with Yang in that kind of way. Um, I really wish I had Van Gogh. This is me saying, damn, I wish I had Van Gogh. <laughs> I could be using so many silly things if I got Van Gogh. But even without Van Gogh, she can still be very effective against uh, Berserkers. If you're fighting a butt-ton of Berserkers at once, she's amazing at that. Because um, they deal less damage to her. She can kind of taunt for a single turn, um, which is really nice. Uh, and when she's taunting them, she's completely invincible. And then she's also like slowly charging her MP gauge, and she can be really effective on the team. I think Yang's a very good unit, a very solid unit, and a very fun unit to use when you actually have her at full level 10. And I'll just say again, she proved to me in the Challenge Quest videos that we did that she could be effective and good. And I've even used her off screen since then, and she's always been a very good, like, man, I could really just use a, um, a good unit who is going to withstand up to a lot of these, um... A lot of these berserkers and she's been very effective at that so yeah that's yang best of luck to you if you go for her next shooting doji everyone's favorite super heavy samurai shooting doji is here uh shooting doji she's a synchro type with assassin she is two quicks two arts one buster four hits on the quicks three hits on the arts uh Buster hits once, and then she gives six extra hits. Her first skill is Alcoholic Fruit A. 60% chance to charm all enemies for one turn. Reduces their defense for three turns. Defensive down is 20% on a cooldown of seven. Uh, second skill is Demonic Nature of the Oni A. Increases party's attack for three turns, and it increases own MP damage for three turns. 20% and 30% on a cooldown of five. Third skill is the Oni's Head EX, which is an advanced version of uh, Battle Continuation, which she gets after her second interlude, which should be in the game already. But just to double check. Yeah, this is way... I remember playing this a long ass time ago. So yes, it's been in the game. <laughs> Grant self gut stands for one time five turns and then charges on MP gauge. Revives with 4000 HP and it's 30% MP gauge on a cooldown of 7. Present Concealment C, Divinity C. Her third skill is an anti-berserker damage attack aptitude because uh, don't trust the younger version of yourself, which is like a different, completely different being, but also not, but you live in two different things. And never acknowledge them either. It's really weird what's going on with that. Noble Phantasm is the uh, Sinshimbanko Shinpen, uh, Shin, Shinpen Ki Doku, Multitudes of Colors, Provincial Oni Poison, Rank B+, Anti-Army, Hits a Single Time. Per hit percentage is 100% on the first one, because it only hits one time. Deals damage to all enemies, reduces their defense resistance by 10% for 3 turns, reduces their defense by 10% for 3 turns, reduces their attack by 10% for 3 turns, reduces their MP damage by 10% for 3 turns, reduces their critical attack chance by 10% for 3 turns, seals their skills for 1 turn, inflicts toxic status for 5 turns to them, increases poison damage by uh, on them by 100%, on MP level 1, 600% damage, and if you get her to MP5, 900%, inflicts poison to them to, inflicts poison to them for 5 turns, 1000 damage at charge level 1, and if you get her to the 5th uh, charge level, it's 5000. She also has a really good costume, here she is in her idol outfit, and that is Shuten Doji, um, I can't fully comment on her because she is a poison unit. And therefore, my brother will have a larger thing to talk about poison units when Lacosta comes out when we do the <laughs> Fate Arcade uh, collab. So look forward to him explaining to you more, more poison stuff. The video, currently cooking in his head, I'm sure, working hard at it. But I can say some other stuff about what she does. Uh, Shunin is a very interest again I, I really gotta stop using the word interesting but it is a very interesting unit if you want to use her for actual like looping she's very bad at it <laughs> and the reason is is because she only hits one time so i think at most what you'll get from mp gain is typically around 20 percent and it really kind of depends on some other factors as well but that's about as much as i get whenever i've tried so that's not really what you should be looking for but 
because of her skills right here, it's very obvious what you should be using her for. You should be using this girl for any kind of, like, challenging quest kind of thing. Because the amount of debuffs that she can just give to the enemy is kind of insane. Um, it's really good. And if you're also in a scenario where you can use, uh, where you can actually, like, um, do more than a single attack and actually be able to get some more art stuff, you should be able to get her MP back and then do it again, and then this even stacks over it on top of itself even more, letting her do even more damage and reducing their attack and reducing so many of the things that they can do to you is really good. Um, she also has a good survivability on her because she has a Guts on her, and it lasts for five turns, and this is on a cooldown of seven, and then it's also an MP charger. So you don't have to worry all that much because you know that um, even if you don't die in those five turns, you only have to live two more turns to use the uh, ability again. The Demonic Nature of Oni is also pretty solid because it is in a party increase, um, and the MP damage to herself is nice because she probably needs it. 60% ch chance to charm all enemies is nice just because she's not locked into only males, and it's literally any kind- or females. <laughs> she transcends all forms of gender and all the others, so she will literally charm anything, um, which is a very powerful effect. And it also makes her extremely annoying, that's why she's a- uh, bitch and a half to fight in Shimosa. She is strong as hell in Shimosa because this ability just hits you and then you're like, god damn. Yeah, I guess I just lose now because I've been charm locked by a single unit uh, who has AoE charming. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. Yeah, and that's Shuden Doji. Um, like I said, I think she's a really good unit. Um, there's not a lot of options for AoE uh, five stars. <laughs> So she's at least on NA at the in the version at, at in the current version and specifically AOE assassin um, five stars because it's really just like on NA right now it's like Shuden and then it's like Cleopatra <laughs> and not a whole lot of them when I think about it um, I think there's only like a single one more after that if I remember correctly. Uh, let me see. Uh, in terms of AoE assassin five stars, single target, single target, uh, AoE, AoE, single target, AoE, semiramis, support, um, single target, single target. And AoE, that's the other one. Vich is the other one. And to be fair, Vich is pretty good as well. So there's four. Um, so yeah, there you go, shooting. Best of luck to you if you go for either one of them, Yang or Shudin. I know for a fact a lot of people like both, so... And I'm happy to have my Shudin, even though I very rarely ever get to use her. Because at least when I do use her, she pops out in this. And it's a pretty nice outfit. And that's the end of the video, everyone. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys in another video uh, doing stuff. Probably talking about Fago. Probably doing something else. Who knows? I'll see you guys later. Peace out.